Just in the back alley, small bar, ready to go inside for the appearance for Studio 90. Uh, the live filming, first one in Chicago. I'm honored to do it. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea, actually. Yeah. I asked him to put Usher on as the theme song, but I don't know. Welcome back to Studio 90. We're here at Small Bar in Chicago. Yeah. Those goals you scored against Poland here in, in 2004, you scored the, uh, against Honduras in the qualifier, the game winning goal. Uh, and then we also had the goal against Brazil. Now we come back and watch the replay of that goal. That was, my best, that was probably my best goal. People, we wrote that it was a header, but it didn't quite look like you got your head on that. I remind people of that. <laughs> <laughs> what was the challenge like moving to Chicago to France? And what's kind of a, a day in the life of Carlos in, in San Antonio? The, the biggest thing that sucks about Europe is everything's closed on Sunday. Not bothers me. <laughs> if the Chicago Fire would have me back, I would love to come here. Can you come next week? Yeah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Bocanero! <laughs> Anybody got a question for Carlos? Feel free to raise your hand. What are your thoughts on American sports owners getting more involved in buying European teams, especially in the Premiership? I'm sure it has a bit to do with money. You know, <laughs> a little bit of business, but no, it's, it's cool that you know Americans are taking part in that because you would you would never thought that 15 years ago. But I remember when I first came into the national team, it was after a, a four-year cycle, it was after a World Cup, and it's just a process. And you know the young guys get slowly integrated into the team, and um, we have a lot of talent. You know, you, you see these guys. The MLS helps out a lot. We want to win Saturday, but we want to play well and you know build off what we did in, in the World Cup and in the last four years. Uh, and keep going and you know, improve ourselves and just get a little bit sharper everywhere. Me and my friends are lifelong fans of you. We appreciate what you did for the fire and the U.S. national team. And I wonder if we could uh, buy you a beverage of your choice after the interview. Right. <laughs> yeah, I would love that, except for, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's great for tonight. Maybe uh, after the game Saturday. Uh, an anonymous question here. I'm guessing it's from a female. Have you, have you ever considered modeling? <laughs> You know, obviously soccer's my job, but it's fun to do, uh, you know, dress you up and give you cool things to wear, so it's good. How was having a beer with the President of the United States? That was, that was cool for me. I mean, uh, obviously with all the emotions after the, the Algeria game, we qualified for uh, advancing next round, excuse me. Um, Clinton, uh, Mr. Bill Clinton has been one of my all-time favorites. Uh, <laughs> he's just, he's such a cool guy. And he was just like, oh, no problems. A lot of people take pictures with him. And looking back on it, I kind of wish I had my shirt on. That was a good guy. <laughs> uh, no, he was a good guy. Well, Carlos, as a few minutes to hang out before we have to leave 8 o'clock, he's got to get ready for tomorrow's training. But <laughs> It was really awesome to sit that close, see one of my tater tots. That was amazing. Um, good time overall. It was a really great experience. You know, I loved it. Uh, my sister's a huge fan of U.S. soccer. We've kind of both grown up together watching it, and she's a big Carlos supporter. And she's in Miami. She couldn't be here tonight, so I asked him to say hi. It's really great. I really wish there was more experiences like this to get to know the players and actually be live and not just watching it, you know, on green screen or something. So it was really good. It was great. Really great to see him, you know, sort of doing the sort of more formal interview with Michael, and then you know doing the fan Q and A was and the autographs and pictures. It was it was a really cool event. People really got into it. We've been, I guess, an unofficial U.S. soccer bar for as long as we've been open, and maybe three years ago, two years ago, we got approached to kind of be formalize the relationship and work more directly with the soccer federation and. It's been great. I mean, it's uh, certainly helped put us on the map with people out of town. Like when people are in American Outlaws or Sam's Army, people are in town for a match. They know where to go for a drink. That's like a U.S. soccer friendly bar. You guys helped us get on ESPN during World Cup, which was by far one of the coolest things I've been a part of. You know, this thing tonight, it's, it's been really cool. Like it's a relationship we really value. It's been great. Great turnout. You know, uh, 
No, it was fun. They ask good questions. They're they're knowledgeable. No, it was good. It was fun, and you know, hopefully, uh, we can continue this tradition and keep doing this.